When I say trek, you think mountains or lush green hills, but ever heard about beach trek? Well, if you want to try something entirely different, then try to do the Gokarna beach trek. Hi friends, it's me Ashraf and welcome to our new video. Yes, this is Gokarna, a northern coast of Karnataka and a small coastal town. Gokarna has hills opening straight onto beaches and there are five beautiful beaches separated with a small hill in between and all the five beaches entirely different from one to other. Five major beaches which have clean water, gentle waves and amazing views. These are, Gokarna Main Beach, Kudle Beach, Om Beach, Half Moon Beach and Paradise Beach. The Half Moon Beach and Paradise Beach only can be accessible through trek or boat ride. So are you interested? Well, here is the complete details of that, no need to take package or no guide required. You can do it yourself. In this video, we will explain everything that you need to know about how to plan a Gokarna Beach trek yourself. How much difficult this trek is? This trek is the fun way to go beach hopping in Gokarna. Trek is approximately a 10 km long trek come hike including walking through the beaches. Trek is an easy trek for any average person with basic fitness. The whole journey would include one-way ferry ride and one-way trek. It can easily be done in around 4 to 5 hours although it depends upon how much time would you spend at each beach. The major part of the trek involves hiking through the hills and crossing the same to arrive at the next beach. However, there is a little climbing, crossing of rocks and boulders on the way too. From where to start the trek? Gokarna Beach Trek mainly covers the five major beaches of Gokarna Main Beach or Belekan Beach then Paradise Beach next Half Moon Beach next Om Beach and the last one Kudle Beach. So, the trek can be started from either of the extreme ends, that means, from Belekan Beach to Kudle Beach or from Kudle Beach to Belekan Beach. The first option starts from Kudle Beach towards Paradise Beach or Belekan Beach. The advantage of this option is, you can spend more of morning time on Kudle Beach and Om Beach which are the most fun to swim and you can watch beautiful sunrise from the Om Beach. In addition to this option, the later half of the trek, after Om Beach, is mainly through the forest. This is more relieving when the sun is shining brightly. However, either way it is not that big of a problem. If you are planning one-way trek and return boat ride, then reach the Paradise Beach before 5 pm, because the last boat ride from Paradise Beach available at around 5.30 to 6 pm and you really have to aware of the time to make it back to your stay unless you are staying on Paradise Beach. If you are not preferring boat ride then you can go to Bele King Beach from there auto or other transport options are available for you. Second option, you can start the trek from Bele Khan Beach or Paradise Beach towards Kudle Beach. If you join a group tour from Bangalore or any other city, your trek will mostly start from Bele Khan Beach. If you are doing this trek yourself, you can instead take a ferry to Paradise Beach and start the trek directly from there. You will just be missing out on the 1 to 1.5 km hike from Belekan Beach to Paradise Beach. This option has some advantages. You are not in any pressure to catch a ferry by the end of the day. If you start early, you will have ample time to chill at every single beaches. Another advantage of this option is that early in the morning, when there haven't been many boat rides, chances of spotting dolphins on the way to Paradise Beach are higher. Anyhow the choice is yours. Here we choose the first option, we started from the Kudle Beach and end to Paradise Beach, then return via boat from Paradise Beach to Kudle Beach, so one side trek and one side ferry ride. After you get here, you can either have breakfast at one of the beach shacks or you can head to Om Beach. Kudle Beach to Om Beach is the easiest of all these hikes. You can find the steps left side of the beach, that will lead you to Om Beach. 
When you climb the steps you can see the parking area, and next to that rocky terrain, just climb the rocks, this path takes you to the Om beach. The trail for Gokarna beach trek is easily identifiable on the whole route and there are also various directions and graffiti marked on the way. The trail is also marked on Google Maps. Just a 20 minutes walk from Kudle beach you will reach the Om beach entrance, these steps will lead you to the Om beach. We are reached around 7.25 am, and we witnessed a beautiful sunrise here at Om Beach. In the viewpoint you can see the beach shape written in Om shape, that's why this beach called Om Beach. Om Beach is segregated into two sections. The part of the beach from where the trek to Half Moon starts has hip shacks, great waves and very few people. The other half of the beach, from where you climb steps to get out of the beach, onto the road is a touristy spot. Stopping here is worth it. A little ahead after this point is the pristine Om Beach. Spend a playful morning at the Om Beach, swimming, kayaking, playing beach games, clicking pictures on top of rocks, and you can plan your breakfast here. We spent more than half an hour here, then we head to the Half Moon Beach. The hike from Om Beach to Half Moon Beach is a breathtaking one. This trail will take you through cliffs with the Arabian Sea just below you. Of course, you need to be a tad bit careful and maintain steady footing but the views you get are well worth the cautiousness. Another 30 minutes, walk from the Om beach, through the breathtaking views, forest walk and cliff climbing, we have reached the half moon beach, by the time it was 8.15 am. I think these people are started from the other side, Belekan or Paradise beach, they are moving to Om beach now, the trail will be the same either way doing the trek. Among all the Gokarna beaches, I had the most fun at the Half Moon Beach. There are many reasons why. The beach is uninhabited and the only people on the beach are wandering adventurers like you. This beach can be accessible only through trekking or boat ride. Secondly, the beach shack ride the beach serves the most delicious, generous breakfast at the lowest possible rates.
We spend almost one hour here, had breakfast, then we moved to Paradise Beach. Half Moon Beach to Paradise Beach is the one of the toughest parts of the whole trek as compared to other parts. There is a little rock and boulder climbing in the beginning. As you go forward, the trail is gradual uphill and the views you get are amazing. On the way, there are many picturesque spots on this route and if you are lucky, you may spot some dolphins as well. We have reached around 10 am in the morning at the Paradise Beach. So, it's took almost 45 minutes walk to reach here including photo shoot stops. This is the other beach after half moon only accessible through trek or boat ride. Paradise Beach is a popular camping spot among travelers. Here you'll find groups of people who pitch tents. This is one of the tent camping beaches, there are packages available, you can search in Google, Paradise Beach Camping. If you are carrying your own tent, you can pitch that here. If you preferring to boat ride to return to Kudley Beach, then you can skip the Baylakan Breach. It's just 1 km trek but the trail is not that much fun. If you want to catch auto or other transport you must head to Baylakan Beach no other option. From here there are several boat services to Kudley Beach and Om Beach till 6 pm. They are charging 300 rupees for each person and minimum 8 people required in boat. If less people may they will charge more. So this charge is not affordable for you. Then only option trek back the same path or go to Belekan Beach from there catch auto or other transport. We spent almost 2 hours here, and around 12 pm, took a boat ride to return. 
There are limited boat services to Tilkudle Beach, but very often to Om Beach. So we catch the boat to Om Beach. From there we can hike back to Kudle. It's just one kilometer distance or we'll get auto from there. Also, you can plan the sunset in Om Beach or Kudle Beach. These two beaches where you can witness the beautiful sunset in Gokarna. Ten minutes boat ride, we have reached the Om Beach. Om Beach is a major tourist attraction in Gokarna, located in North Kanara district. One of the acclaimed beaches in the country, Om Beach takes the shape of an Om, a Hindu spiritual symbol. In the shape of two crescents joined together to form an Om, the beach offers a breathtaking view of the sunset. There are several other activities you can do in Om Beach like water sports, hiking to viewpoints, camel safari and walking the long stretch of white sandy beach. What we decided spend time here till the sunset, even the sunrise we watched from here that was beautiful, Om Beach is one of the beaches you can watch sunrise and sunset. Gokarna beach trek video winding up here. Hope you enjoyed the video. If yes kindly share with your friends circle. If you are not subscribed yet, please do and support us. Hope this video help you. If you have any doubts, please ask in comment box we are happy to help you. See you in the next video. Thank you all, for your support.